Bonjour ni hao, and welcome to the Game Voice channel. I'm Johnny, and today I'm here with my birthday haul. So, this video I am shooting uh, the Saturday after my birthday. My birthday was May 14th, mm -hmm. and I just want to say thank you to all of my friends, to my family, and to everyone out there who took the time out of their day to make my birthday a little bit more special. I feel incredibly grateful, and just, I felt loved, I felt special, so I thought it would be fun to share some of the wonderful and generous gifts that I got for my birthday. So I guess I will start with stuff that I got from Tim, and then I will, because that's most of the Disney stuff, and then I will show um, stuff, other some other gifts that I got. The first thing Tim surprised me with was actually this really sweet uh, cameo from one of our favorite drag queens, uh, Alexis Michelle, because no one does Alexis Michelle like um, Alexis Michelle. <laughs> so I'll just insert a little clip. Happy birthday, Johnny. It's me, it's Alexis. And um, instead of singing happy birthday, I'm gonna say, if you want my apples, you better shake my tree. See, the best thing about cameos is that they are now forever ours and I can always watch them back and enjoy them. If you like my apples. Um, so this first thing right here is I got this wonderful lounge fly pin from Tim and Tim is so good at finding uh, pins for us and this pin is great because this is a lounge fly Pixar pin which is a limited edition of 1900 but when you open up and spin open this pin on pin it's a little bow and look how cute Bao is, and he's just so happy, he looks so yummy and toasty, and we love this short. Comment below what one of your favorite Pixar animated shorts are. There are so many great Pixar shorts out there that I have a hard time keeping track of them. I love Bao, I love Kitbull, I love Piper, those are just the ones of Funkos that I was just looking at. Also Presto, all great pops. Or um movies. Alright, so the next thing that Tim got me was, oh, Tim got me two cute shirts. So if you do not know, Tim and I are going to be celebrating kind of a hybrid birthday, but also Tim's birthday and just a summer vacation uh, by going to Disneyland this July. And so this is our first time going to be going to Pixar Fest. So we thought it would be our we thought. I thought it would be lovely to have some new outfits to wear, and since Tim is such a better shopper than I am, I said, Tim, you know the lounge flies that I want to take. You know that it's going to be Pixar for us, so it should be Pixar themed. So he found these cute t-shirts. First one he found, uh, because it's going to be July, so I imagine it's going to be like super hot, so I don't think I'll need spirit jerseys. But the first shirt is this shirt that he got uh, for Toy Story, and it says, Mrs. Nesbitt's Tea House. Oh, the tea is hot. The tea is piping. And we talked about it, and we sipped the tea, and... <coughs> <coughs> you guys, I literally just choked on my tea. <coughs> You're missing the tea? Did y'all get the tea? <laughs> uh, but this is for Mrs. Benson, and he says, Do you see the hat? And uh, established 1993 to infinity and beyond. So I thought this would be a cute t-shirt to wear at Pixar Fest with my Buzz Lightyear lounge fly uh, for one of the days in the park. And then, so that'll probably be the one that I wear. I don't know. I have to figure this out. But then I got a second one. Uh, for Inside Out, and we are also so excited to see Inside Out 2 coming this June. Uh, so here is the Inside Out shirt, and it says, uh, Core Memory Day, which if any day at Disney is definitely a Core Memory Day, or DCA. And then you have all the friends there, sadness, fear, joy, disgust, and anger. And then there's some, what looks like to be Mickey balloons, and on the back of this gray shirt, it is, uh, today is going to... Today is a core memory day, uh, and then there are more, it's a different kind of variation on that graphic. Oh my gosh, Tim and I were just walk, looking at Instagram this morning, and there was this like, 
person or somebody that was doing these like uh, Inside Out 2 mystery minis and there is a character that we saw that I've never seen before called Deep Dark Secret. So I'm excited to see how that is in Riley's life. Okay, so then Tim got me uh, these series of little mystery keychains and figures. So I opened up some of them off camera, but I have a bunch to open up with, guys with you. So the first thing he got me were some of the Funko Itty Bitty Minis, or whatever they're called. And so I opened up this Harry Potter one, and I got this cute little baby Dumbledore, which is so appropriate because I actually have this Funko as a regular size pop, but then I also got it in a little, like, Funko keychain, uh, or not Funko keychain, Funko snow globe from Five Below. So this will match that perfectly, and what I love about these is these pop up so you can actually be an out-of-the-box collector. And then Tim got me the these, like, South Park uh, mystery plush keychains, and I, these are blind, and I got Kyle. Hi, Kyle. Goodbye, Kyle. <laughs> Goodbye, Kyle. And so this is going to go on my South Park shelf with all of my South Park Funkos and collectibles. And then Tim got me uh, some figural keychains, and the first one we opened uh, was Dark Phoenix, or Phoenix. Yeah, Dark Phoenix. Um, which is so appropriate because I have been loving X-Men 97, and so this sparks joy, and I love her little sassy red lip. Comment below if you're watching X-Men 97. And then the last one I got was this uh, keychain from the Dungeons and Dragons movie. I am a huge Dungeons and Dragons player. And so this is the wizard. I don't forget his name. I'll put it up on below. But this is a fun little keychain. And then Tim got me these three minifigures. So we have a mystery pin set of Happy Meal pins. We have two of these Baymax Heart series. Uh, so these are all the Baymaxes that we can get. We've opened these up on the channel before. And then we have a Stitch uh, keychain. So I'm actually going to open these up now and then share them with you. So let's do the pin first. I really want the Chase, which is Grimace, or I guess the Mare McCheese, because, I mean, he's a mare. All right. Oh, I got the car! I got the Big Mac! Yay, I will show you this. This is the Big Mac police officer. And then in the Baymaxes, I just carried this bag today and uh, wore it with my Baymax t-shirt. So I really want Baymax with mochi. I don't think we have that one. But is this one? Oh, these are the key magnets. I forgot. These aren't the keychains. Tim told me this. Oh, Baymax with hearts. That's cute. He's a little dirt. Actually, no, he just cleans right up. All right. And then let's see what our other Baymac magnet is. Baymac with mochi. Not Baymac with dog. Baymac with mochi. Come on, mochi. Is it mochi? It's smaller than the other ones. What? Oh, okay. It's Baymac's hugging dog. Aw. Okay, I would have rather had cat, but I love Baymax with animals because we love our furry friends. And then this is a bag clip of Stitch in costume. So, I don't know which ones we have. So, ooh. And these are from the Disney 100. And this is, aw, uh, Summertime Stitch. This is Stitch with Bitten Surfboard. Okay, yay! Here is the pin, and look at the little Big Mac police officer doing his little whistle dance. He's waving. That's super cute. This is the magnet of Baymax and Dog, and I look look at him. He, so this is a, a magnet, and this will go up on our fridge. Oh wait, that's a cool Baymax logo. I like that. Um, and then his little booty, little happy corgi, or little, little little dog. That's so cute. Then we have Baymax with balloons. Baymax with balloons is so cute. I cannot wait to meet Baymax when we go to Pixar Fest and to DCA because I have not. Uh, been there since they added San Francisco, so super excited to meet Baymax. And then this is the Stitch keychain. I love the kind of de depth on his glasses that like you can actually see through them, and like his eyes are actually behind there, and that these are floating. And then this is his bitten surfboard. It gives gives the uh, keychain a little bit more texture and depth to it. So that's super cute as well. If you can believe it, Tim was so kind and generous to get me even more gifts. So the one thing that he got me that I've been super excited about and that I've been playing 
is Tim got me this wonderful Pac-Man Lego set. Um, this year, or actually the last year, I've been really into Legos again lately. I've been like building more sets. I've been collecting more sets lately. So uh, super excited that Tim is helping this by getting me this wonderful, awesome Pac-Man set. What's so cool about this Pac-Man set is that this crank actually turns, and I guess like these little things all move around. And then when you lift open the back of the console, it's actually like a little diorama of uh, the, um, of like an arcade. So this is interesting, I'll cover the our address, but they actually shipped this box to Tim on Amazon, like just like this, and so when Tim got it, it was taped and like loose, and so Tim had to make sure that all the pieces were there, and then I checked, but that was just really interesting. But, as I said, I already started it, and so... The first thing that you build is like the top of the arcade machine, and this is so cute because it's like these little Pac-Mans, but when you press this button, ghosts, 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 so cute. And then, as you can see, I've already started building the arcade piece itself, and you can see that crank I was telling you about. This is the beginnings of how this is going to go. I think this was bag, what did I just do today, like five or six? So those... That first piece that I showed you was the first two bags, and then this takes us up to five and six. So there's, like, the controller. But what's so cute is that there's already... There's something I've never had on a Lego set before, which is a feature of a light. So when you press down this start button, like, the little coin thing lights up, which is so cute. I love Legos because Legos are the gift that keep on giving because you get to enjoy the building of the toy, then you also get to enjoy the uh, playing of the toy, so love this. Tim's lovely generosity still continues and he surprised me with a beautiful red box. Of course he covered the back of it for when I opened it, and when I opened it there was a figure that I have been looking at and has been on my wish list for a very long time, and that is Ursula and Ariel in their uh, duo pose. Here they are looking stunning. What I love about this is Ariel actually looks like an adult woman. She looks older. She doesn't look as like thin and like teen and kitty as she normally looks. And I love that she uh, is sitting on this beautiful rock. You can see the movement of her tail in this sculpt and like how it actually looks like it's in water. Her hair is flowing. But then what makes these pieces so great is that Ursula is here uh, as well and they did a beautiful Jim Shore detail on her tentacles to kind of give her that purple that she has. They actually really added great detail of her tentacles with like the little sucker th uh, things on them. And then look at that back rolls on her and that booty and her really great hair and she's so expressive and the what I also love is the detail of the Jim Shore base that actually is stylized to make it look very under the sea underwater and this piece is called Wicked and Wishful. Who's wicked and who's wishful? <laughs> Also comment below if you've seen the new Wicked trailer because that just dropped this last week and that's great. But I love the I love actually that her tentacles like behind her. It feels like so sinister and wicked and she's like scheming. But this is a great piece and I've like I said this has been on my wish list for a very long time because these are some of my favorite characters. And then the last thing, if you can believe it, there's still more that Tim surprised me with, was a lounge fly! Um, I don't know if I'm going to carry this right now. Um, certainly not to Pixar Fest because it's so pretty. But I definitely, I don't, I love it. And I don't know when I'll use it. But I definitely will. Maybe for like a celebration or a month or something. But this is a thematic gift to the lounge fly pin that you saw earlier, and this is bow as a bag. And what's so cool, especially on camera, the way you see this, is it really does look, the depth perception and like angle than they did this, makes it do look like there's actual like a little bow box here, and then he's happily sitting inside of it. But this is an actually an applique. There's He's on there, and then this is a second applique. It doesn't move, it doesn't turn, which I'm okay with, I would actually prefer it that way. But when you open up the unique circle zipper, you can see kind of that pattern, that textured green pattern behind continuing down. I love the circle shape because it's a unique shape. On the side you see some soy sauce and some chopsticks, and on this side you see some um, pot stickers, and on the back is a lovely tea set in this very kind of pea green uh, color. Uh, but it's again 
uh, Pixar shorts, which I love that they're doing bags of other movies and uh, property now besides just what they always do. Um, Pixar green uh, metal lounge fly. It's a really pretty gold hardware with this kind of brown uh, placket and tan placket. But what's so cute, especially when you look inside, is the print. Because the inside print is all the different bows at different parts of his life. So there's like adult bow with goatee, there's teen bow with glasses, there's little baby bow, and all mixed in there with some other little like noodles, herbs, or like leaves or greenery. And so it's just a super fun print that like really does encompass the whole movie and reminds you of all of the wonderful moments from Bao. All of this Bao talk is making me hungry now, so I'll try to wrap this up. I have a few more gifts and little thoughtful things that I would love to share. The first is a Funko from my friend John, and this is a Funko of his favorite character, Nightcrawler. And I love that this pop is uh, kind of like a movie movement or like a little bit deeper. Uh, or like a little bit more in depth because they added the smoke of him bamfing. Bamf! He's jumping and he's like, the smoke as you can see goes all the way around him and so it just creates a really nice thematic theme. The other thing is these eyes do glow in the dark. It's not the best glow, but it's great. Yeah, X-Men 97, the finale just happened this week, so it's very real and raw. <laughs> but I'm so glad, I hope they do a second, se second season because I've been loving it. Um, the next gift that I got was from my friend Ted, and this is a book because I am always in love with, like, Disney history, Disney lore, Imagineering principles because I think that they just apply to everything. So this is a book that he thought I would enjoy called Tinker Bells and Evil Queens, the Walt Disney Company from Inside Out, and it is a collection of, uh cultural studies and uh, media studies about the Magic Kingdom theme parks. So the back of it says, from its Magic Kingdom theme parks to its utterless cows, the Walt Disney Company has successfully maintained itself as a brand name of conservative American family values. But the Walt Disney Company has also had a long, complex history to the gay and lesbian community that is now only becoming visible. So I think that this is just going to intersect a lot of like my favorite things, Disney and games and boys and so awesome. I can't wait to read that. Thank you, Ted. Um, my friend Josh gave me a book as well and I am so excited for this because we were talking about gifts, right? What are the best gifts? Things that you want or need or otherwise also things that you would normally not get yourself. And so Josh was so kind that he gifted me this book because I love a coffee table book. I love a book in the bathroom and I would have never gotten this but it, this is a Dungeons and Dragons, as I said I was into that, Arts and Arcana of Visual History. And flipping through this, I've been reading it a little bit already, is that um, I've really enjoyed like the advertising sec section about D Dungeons and Dragons, and just looking at their role in pop culture and history. Uh, even shows like Stranger Things. So this is a really cool kind of anthology of all D&D, &D and like gorgeous full-color photos. Um, that's stunning, right? So, can't wait to dig into this more. And then the last gift I got is a game from my other friend, John. Uh, we are the Game Boys. I love games. So, there is a game that I have been playing for a little while now called Camel Up. Comment below but if you played, but it is a tabletop game. The developers of the game actually made a sequel called Camel Up Off Season. So it is a sequel to the original game. I have not yet played this, but I'm super excited to play this. Comment below if you have played Camel Up Off Season, but I imagine it'll just be more camel fun. <laughs> So, if you can believe it, we have gotten to the end of my birthday haul. Um, I just want to say, again, thank you to Tim, to all of my friends, and everyone who wished me well wishes online and through our D my DMs. It was just, again, I could not express how happy and loved and special I felt that day. It was just a really nice moment because normally I travel for work to New York every year during this kind of my birthday week, and so this was the first year that they moved that event to the week later this upcoming week and so for the first time I was actually really home so it was a really special birthday so um, I look forward to chatting with you in the comments about all the things that we talked about if you're not a subscriber and enjoy Disney game pop culture and lifestyle related content I would love for you to consider hitting that subscribe button to be notified of our future videos and if you are a subscriber thank you so much for joining us I had a wonderful time with hanging out with you and I can't wait to see you in our next video until next time take care and be well bye